Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. When ASML executives were asked at the 2024 Semiconductor Summit whether they were worried about Chinese lithography machines, an internal document showed that the Dutch giant had compressed the delivery cycle of DUV lithography machines for Chinese customers from 18 months to 9 months. At the same time, TSMC suddenly announced the restart of the expansion plan of the 28 nanometers production line in Nanjing plant, three months after they shelved the project on the grounds of insufficient market demand. The 7 nanometers equivalent precision lithography machine unveiled by Xinkailai Technology at the Shanghai Semiconductor Exhibition has 60% fewer core parts than similar ASML models. The dual worktable system of this machine was jointly developed by Shanghai Microelectronics and the Chinese Academy of Sciences, with a positioning accuracy of 0.8 nanometers, which is two orders of magnitude higher than similar products of Nikon in Japan 10 years ago. What is unexpected is that Shinkailai's computational lithography algorithm controls the process error within 1.2 nanometers, which is close to the accuracy level of EUV lithography machines. In Huawei's laboratory in Longgang, Shenzhen, engineers are testing the Mate 70 engineering machine equipped with self-developed 7 nanometers chips. The disassembly report shows that its RF module uses domestic gallium nitride materials for the first time, and the baseband chip is manufactured by SMIC's N plus 2 process. People familiar with the matter revealed that Huawei's additional 28 nanometers orders to SMIC in 2024 directly caused the latter's Beijing factory's capacity utilization rate to soar to 120%. Yangtze Memory's 232-layer 3D NAND flash memory mass production line now has an equipment localization rate of over 85% per square meter of clean room. Among them, SMIC's 5 nanometers etching machine has been running stably for more than 100,000 hours, and its self-developed plasma control technology makes the etching rate 15% faster than applied materials equipment. This may explain why Micron Technology warned in its latest financial report, Chinese competitors are eroding our cost advantage. The magnetic suspension rail system developed by Zhongke Kamei reduces the vibration amplitude of the motion platform of the lithography machine from micron level to nanometer level. Xingmai Shanghai's cleaning equipment uses a new supercritical carbon dioxide technology to reduce the wafer defect rate from 5 parts per million to 1 part per million. And Huajuajinka's air floating spindle speed reaches 42,000 rpm which is 30% higher than similar products of Japan's THK. Monitoring data from international consulting firm Tech Insights shows that in the second quarter of 2024, the proportion of domestic equipment in China's semiconductor equipment procurement exceeded 35% for the first time. This figure was less than 8% in 2018. North Huachuang's 12-inch wafer cleaning machine has entered the Samsung Electronics supply chain, and Tuojing Technologies thin film deposition equipment is competing with LAM Research's products at Hinix's Wuxi factory. The U.S. Department of Commerce added seven Chinese semiconductor equipment companies to the entity list updated in May. At Changxin's memory chip factory in Hefei, the yield rate of the independently developed DDR5 memory particles reached 92%, which is 5 percentage points higher than that of Micron Technologies factory in Malaysia. The construction cost of Changxin's 19 nanometers DRAM production line is 40% lower than that of Samsung's production line of the same level, thanks to the customized services of domestic equipment manufacturers. Xinyuanwei's coating and developing equipment can optimize algorithms for specific processes, which is impossible to achieve in the standardized equipment of international manufacturers. The third phase of the National Big Fund was quietly launched in June, and 45% of the first 20 billion yuan of funds flowed to the field of equipment and materials. It is worth noting that among the 28 companies invested this time, 
17 are small and medium-sized enterprises that have received investment from the big fund for the first time, covering next duck links such as photoresist and sputtering targets. Shanghai Microelectronics employees revealed that the 28 nanometers lithography machine they are testing has exposed 140 wafers per hour, just one step away from ASML's 160 wafers. TSMC's Nanjing plant expansion plan shows that the new production line will use the etching machine of SMIC and the glue coating equipment of Shenyang Xinyuan. This mode of mixing international manufacturers and domestic equipment has not appeared in the expansion plan three months ago. In June, ASML suddenly opened the remote diagnosis interface of some DUV lithography machines to Chinese customers. This function was previously only open to core customers, such as TSMC and Intel. In a recent internal speech, Xu Jijun, Huawei's rotating chairman, revealed that 5G base stations equipped with domestic 7 nanometers chips have completed live network testing in the three major operators. Test data shows that its power consumption is 18% lower than that of the previous generation of imported chips, while data processing throughput is increased by 23%. What shocked the communications industry is that 40% of the FPGA chips used in these base stations come from Shanghai Anlu Technology, a company that was established only 12 years ago and has just broken through 7 nanometers FPGA technology. According to SMIC's financial report, its revenue from mature processes of 28 nanometers and above in the second quarter of 2024 reached 68%, while this figure was only 52% in the same period last year. 35% of these orders come from BYD's latest smart driving platform in the automotive electronics field, which is equipped with 14 nanometers automotive grade chips manufactured by SMIC. TSMC founder Morris Chang specifically mentioned at a recent industry forum, the engineering community in mainland China is creating new rules of the game. This system uses machine learning to compress the optical proximity effect correction time from 72 hours of traditional methods to 8 hours. The quantum dot measurement technology it uses allows the overlay accuracy to reach 0.7 nanometers which even exceeds the nominal value of ASML's latest EUV lithography machine. When ASML announced that it would set up its third technical service center in China, industry observers noticed that the job requirement of familiar with the operation of domestic lithography machines appeared for the first time in its recruitment notice. This subtle change is in stark contrast to the assertion of ASML CEO Peter Wenning three years ago that China cannot independently build high-end lithography machines. At this moment, Shanghai Microelectronics 28 nanometers lithography machine has entered the final stage of mass production verification.